Hi, I'm Shiri Maimon, and I represent Israel on the Eurovision 2005. <laughs> so, as you told, you represented Israel at the Eurovision in Kiev 2005. How was that experience? Wow, it was amazing. Um, it was just, you know, for me to be there to represent my country and to, um, to, you know, to perform on this stage in front of millions, millions of uh, people. It was very exciting, um, and it was, I don't know, it was, it was a huge experience for me. You know, I just started my career, so I really wanted to do, you know, my best. And you could do it two times because you went to the final. Yeah, I had the semi-final and then the final, so it was very uh, emotional, very st st stressful, and um, but you know, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Do you see Eurovision as a boost for your career? Of course, yeah. Um, I remember that I finished Kochav uh, Nolad, uh, uh, this the show, and then I started to work on my, my first album. And after the Eurovision, when I came back to my country, it was it was amazing. It was you know everyone just wanted to hug me, to kiss me, and to say that they are so proud of me. So it was. It was very good for my career and my, my, the rest of my dreams that I wanted to uh, fulfill. Can you tell me, what is your most beautiful memory of that Eurovision? Do you remember? Well, yeah, I remember that um, something like 10 minutes before I needed to go on stage to perform, we needed to go um, from my room to the stage. So um, there's a hole, there was a, a hole there and all the contestants, you know, the rooms were were there, so when I went when I went out from my room and go to the stage, everyone just go out from the rooms to look at my dress, and it was so funny. You know, everyone, everyone was just, oh my God, look at her! Who is she? She's from Israel. What you wearing? It was it was so nice, you know, and everyone just it was very very exciting. We watched it uh, two minutes ago, your performance in Kiev, and we were impressed by your dress. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who made it? Was it a... Um, the designer was uh, Oshida. Her name is Oshida. She's from Israel. And um, it was a very, very uh, beautiful dress. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Why did you took the decision to sing your song half in English in Eurovision? Half in Hebrew, half in English, yeah. Actually, I, I decided it there because in Israel I sang it in Hebrew, you know, uh, from top to bottom in Hebrew, but I decided to, to sing it in English because I know that no one will understand the words in Hebrew, so I wanted to, um, you know, to, to give a chance for the people that don't understand Hebrew to relate to this song, so I wanted to sing in English also, so they can relate to this song. So, so, so how is your career moving? What's, tell us something about uh, MTV um, Europe Awards. Uh, it was last year. Um, the Israeli audience uh, chose me to, to represent them on the MTV. And I, w I went there to perform. It was amazing. It was w one of my biggest dreams, you know, to be on the MTV, to perform. Um, and uh, then um, th th there's a c competition there inside, you know, from the all the uh, from all over Europe. Uh, so I took the third place and I got the, the the award, and it was it was very exciting. What about new CDs, new songs, new releases? I'm just working on my uh, third album and on my uh, international album. 
So I hope that 2010 will be, you know... Uh, okay. And that one will be in English, Hebrew? I believe that my international uh, album will be in English. Would you participate again for Israel in the Eurovision Song Contest? Um, I don't know. I think that I, I have this amazing experience from 2005 and I had this amazing song that I really believed in. So I guess if it will happen, it should be a very, very good song and, uh, you know, maybe. This year, this year Harold Scott will represent Israel. Uh, what can you... What can you tell us about him? Uh, Harel is a, is a singer in Israel. Um, he took part in the, the Israeli version of American Idol uh, a year after me and also took the second place, like me. And then he released his album and he's, uh, he's a very, very good singer. I believe that he can you know, bring a lot of uh, proud to Israel. Is he, is he a good choice? I think he's the best choice. Yeah, for this year, he's the best choice, yeah. Okay. Um, how many times Israel won the Eurovision Song Contest? Three. Yes. <laughs> Can you give us three names of former Eurovision participants representing Israel in the last ten years? L at last ten years? Um, Dana International, it was like ten years ago, I think. Um, Achinoam Nini and Mira Awari was last year. And... Um, um, Shiri Maimon? Okay. Okay, thank you. We wish you good luck with your career. Thank you.